We're going to talk today about cryptocurrency clickbait, getting you to click for those 100x gains to change your life. If it was that simple, we'd all be rich, wouldn't we? So let's talk about this. On the screen, we're going to go on to learning crypto platform, right? There's a link below, 50% off the first month. What this data is showing us from the block, which we embed, is a lot of the influencers are dropping off like a, you know, they're dropping off a cliff in terms of viewership, in terms of subscribers, and then most importantly, also the, the Google trends and the search traffic, right? This is interesting. Now let's talk about it. If you put in the keyword crypto into your YouTube search engine, there's a lot of viewership here. And when we're looking at this, I'm, I'm more focused on this, views per hour, shows you what's popular. And you're gonna see certain videos that will pop up now, not so much in the cryptocurrency kind of thing, but they're all trying to get you in for a certain thing. Oh, my days. This is a problem. We are in... Hello, there's me. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Getting interesting. Anyways, I'm falling into it. Um, so, <laughs> I want to click on that one. Um, this is where it gets interesting, in my opinion. As an entertainer on YouTube, that is technically what you are. We are dealing with financial speculation and it works very, very well to get people in. This is a problem. Now, if we change the keyword to altcoin. Now, I'm not deliberately trying to entice people here by the keyword. The keyword is altcoin. You can see the differences here. Not as competitive, not as good, but there's still a lot of volume. By the way, I'm not focusing on anyone if I'm looking at things. You can see here certain coins that they're trying to get people in to try and get people to look at certain things. Views per hour, pretty good on a lot of these. Wow, really? This is where it gets interesting, getting people in. And all of these creators hold every single coin and talk about all these coins that are under the radar. But when I look at them, there's some really, really random ones on there where you think, where the hell has that came from? You need to look for those ones. Where the hell did they come from? And try and determine, is that a paid promotion or not? A lot of people do not disclose paid promotions, which is a freaking problem. And that is why we need to try and figure this out. Now, let's look at a few things. Keywords, related keywords. Now, on here, you got the term, you got the related score, and obviously you got the surge volume, the competition low. Certain things do pretty well. So you've got best investments, all kinds of investments, right? They're very, very easy to put into YouTube and they will get people in. Now, the data of these is pretty interesting, but the way that they hook you is by using bigger keywords and then they've got a much bigger audience. So they may put altcoins to buy now and they may put cryptocurrency, for example, in there where cryptocurrency as an overall keyword, as a term, is actually pretty significant in terms of that. You got 2.2 million views, right? That's a lot per month as search is. Bitcoin, crypto, you can see the size of them. They're huge. Ethereum, massive, right? So what they'll do is they'll put a big, massive, massive keyword in there. Yeah. And then they'll put all coins to buy, three old coins, and they'll get you with the thumbnail. Now, when we're looking before, I went obviously look at crypto viewers view viewership per hour basically so how many views per hour you can see on the certain the thumbnails how popular some of these videos are it's just the way that the thumbnails are they look incredibly enticing and they get people in now again i am not focusing on individual people it's just how the algorithm works the youtube algorithm works in a simple way clicks how long are they on and what are they engaging for? So if you like my stuff, leave a like. It works, right? Weirdly. Competitions, giveaways. They entice you to stay till the end for a big reveal. This is why I don't like to use timestamps because it kind of distorts the video a little bit because people want to go coin one, coin two, coin three. I'm out of here. Get the picture? Good. Now this is my channel of the last 90 days. I've not gained much traction at all. I don't do specific type of videos. Yes, I use clickbait. Yes, I try and get people in, but I'm not trying to do 
you're going to get rich by doing this. A lot of the stuff that I bought back in 2020 probably got you rich if you were around. There's a lot of evidence of showing that because of what I bought. Very, very clear. Buying into a downtrend, hoping and gambling that it's going to go up is a big problem. Not many people see that until it's too late. So just be careful. Some of my content has done very well. Now, obviously, I'm talking about Polkadot long term. Cool. It's done very well. The end. Predictions. End of cycle. Seven old coins for the 2022 watch list. It was interesting. Before Luna did a 50% correction, and now it's back up to where those levels. Could have made a lot of money there. Could have saved a lot of money as well if you were thinking about buying at the freaking top, literally. Obviously, bear market. How to get rich in a bear market. That's kind of where this point is going. Buying at resistance, buying at these key levels as pay promotions is a problem. Let's look at some other data. BitBoy. This is his channel. You can see very clearly, viewership down massively. So is his subscribers, right? Martini guy, viewership pretty much, but I think he's actually about 10 videos a day now. But realistically, the subscribers fall in massively. He's also made a new channel. Go figure. I wouldn't recommend it. Viewership for the Moon Channel, down. Subscribers, down massively, considering who he is, how big his Twitter is. That's interesting, right? And then we got MM Crypto going down, down, down. And then you got here subscribers going down, down, down. Now, this is all in the narrative of obviously what date we're seeing here. Interesting point, though. People are expecting a bull market, yet we've got problems. A lot of these people that I've kind of referenced will do trades and will tell you to go long short. If it goes wrong, they don't care. They don't care, realistically. So just be careful. Enjoy. Yeah.